back to hard working man. I just had my son Nate out here. We were gonna go run big blue and split up some of those rounds. He hasn't run blue with the new upgrades yet and he hasn't run blue for quite a while because if you watch some earlier videos from a couple months ago, he exploded his finger playing baseball on a failed bunt attempt. It shattered it, blew the nail off, split it wide open. Well, he's healed up now. He had a tennis tournament all day. We got home, he got to rest for a little bit and I said, Nate, let's go out and run blue, see what you think of the upgrades. As you know, I've been having some problems with the old Honda on blue and it just wouldn't stay running for us. So I said, you know what, just head back inside. I had another thing I wanted to do for a while and haven't got to, and that's what I'm gonna bring to you now. The Samurai, you guys know I love this thing and another plan I have for it is making smoker chunks. I've got some cherry, a bunch of barkless cherry and some barkless oak. With this, I can just run them through real quick, break them down into smoker chunks, throw them in my firewood bags that I used to use for bundles, and have a premium product I can sell at a premium price to customers. In my area in the past, I've tried to sell smoker sticks like this for smoker wood, and a lot of people would call on my ad, hey, you got smoking wood available? Yeah, oh, I wanna come get some. I need chunks or I need chips. Not that many people needed the full size sticks. I didn't make the uh, chunks at that time because cutting these down small with a chainsaw and all that it's not that it's a lot of labor it's labor intensive but with the samurai i already had a bunch of barkless wood go through break it down into chunks put it in bags and i think it's going to sell great another plan i had was using my wallenstein bx62 chipper to make the chips joe from ohio wood burner beat me to that i had it planned out i'm in the process of building my drying racks and then joe comes out with the video and i was like are you kidding me because i hadn't seen anyone do it before that guy he thinks outside the box a lot as i do and he brought that video out a while ago and he's been pretty successful with them so i still plan on doing that but i haven't seen anyone using a saw like this making these chunks so i'm going to bring that to you another thing i'm going to do with the samurai is making those cookies people buy those up for wedding decorations for centerpieces for whatever you want. I'm gonna make them out of birch, I'll make some out of walnut, whatever kind of wood people want. I can cut them down, it's a nice, clean, quick cut, and you can sell it for way more than you can sell firewood, which will be the same with these smoker chunks. So, I already got the tractor warmed up, I got the Samurai warmed up. I'll get the cart into position, and we'll start making these chunks.
clearly I didn't realize how soon it was gonna get dark tonight we've been at tennis all day just a short video smoker trunks from the samurai these are the bags you always see the debates do you put your bundles in bags Do you put them in wrap them in a bundle rack I bought these bags wasn't a huge fan of them for bundle wood I'd rather just wrap them and eventually I'll have a bundler but these are gonna be great for these smoker chunks I was on uh, one of my Facebook groups for firewood the other day a guy was in a local store they were selling chunks of oak hickory apple smoker chunks I believe it was $3.99 a pound for this stuff so you can imagine if I charge anywhere close to that which I won't be but you just grab these throw them in this bag give them a nice size bag which will be a couple sticks and I'll probably get $10 to $15 a bag I'll figure out how many sticks go into a bag and what price we're getting per stick. Another benefit of the Samurai, just another product I can put out there. I got the equipment, I've got the wood, I've got the resources. Why not make as much money as I can? So just like that, I'll probably fill them about there to the top of the label. This is premium locally sourced oak smoker chunks. Thanks for watching, hardworking man guys. Have a great day. Sorry about the poor lighting. Ran out of time tonight. We're always busy, always doing something.